That was Suspensions and Solutions, written by Alex Mills for Liam Byrne. And Liam will be back in part two of Open Ear to play music by Valger Sigurdsson, the Icelandic composer and producer and founder of Bedroom Community. Now, I'm delighted to welcome to LSO St. Luke's and to Open Ear the wonderful Elaine Michener, um, whose vocal improvisation is really something to behold. And Elaine, you've come along in your duo format of Charles Michener with the double bassist Neil Charles. So tell me about your collaboration together? Well, uh, I was going to call you Charles for a moment. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Neil and I have known each other for about 10 years, but we've never played as a duo. And we now play in a quartet, jazz quartet. Um, and uh, I think Neil's a phenomenal bass player and I hope he likes what I do. And um, we just thought, let's have a go. Let's see what, what we could do together. And uh, we both have common interests as well. And we really push each other in what we do musically. So each time we get together, and we haven't really done it that often, have we? But um, it's always another incredible journey. So and tonight's the same, I'm sure. And do you have a starting point? Do you, do you discuss musical ideas, play a bit together first, figure out where you'll begin or is it completely open-ended? Um, it's mainly open-ended. I don't know how Neil feels about that. Said, Wake people up. I think, that was, I think that was a first. That's my first thought. <laughs> I also said Asda and Basquiat because I'm wearing an, an Asda t-shirt with an Adidas logo and Neil's wearing a Basquiat t-shirt and I just said, well, you know, we need a starting point. So let's, let's start with that. But we may not, you know, it's very open. We'll see what happens. Amazing, take it away. Charles Michener.
Elaine Michener and Neil Charles, the duo Charles Michener improvising here on Open Ear and they'll be back to kick off part two. Well, next up, I'm delighted to invite the clarinetist Heather Roach to the stage. Uh, we'll be hearing from her a bit about her work and practice in part two, but she's first going to play a piece.